Welcome to Cyclones Insider, everyone. I'm Johnny Canetta. Last week, Stu Johnson and I discussed Mets' first-round draft pick Justin Dunn out of Boston College, right-handed pitcher. So this week, our very own Regina Gonzalez was, was with him one-on-one -on -one in the backyard. Regina, take it away. Thanks, Johnny. Hi, guys. I'm Regina Gonzalez, and I'm here in the Tiki Bar Lounge with Boston College pitcher and Mets' first-round draft pick Justin Dunn. Justin, how does it feel to be in Brooklyn? That's awesome. I'm in a home uh, to get a chance to play in front of all my family that's that's had a pretty good turnout at every single one of the home games is awesome and I know they're gonna be uh, probably buy out a section for one of the one of my first time fishing that's games. awesome that's awesome so now you are from Freeport New York right mm -hmm. so do you you stay with the team you don't want to deal with that Bell Parkway traffic no I, I know <laughs> what that's all about and, and I figured if I was gonna do it I was gonna do it the right way and live mm -hmm. with the guys and not have special treatment like that kind of stuff so uh, I make sure I get home to get my mom's food, though. That's yeah, sure. yeah. So now you spent the last four years in Boston. When you got drafted, I have to mention the video that went viral <laughs> of your teammates going crazy proud of you when you got drafted. What yeah. was that like? Were uh, you you guys were just chilling at the restaurant? Yeah, coach. Uh, coach threw a family dinner for everybody, um, and we had my family there, a few other families there, and then all the guys on the team who were basically my brothers. Um, so to get picked up around them was crazy and. I don't know if you saw the regional video, but we got pretty good at celebrating mm -hmm. things. And when my name came across the screen, I think we broke a couple hundred dollars with the glasses mm -hmm. and a few tables. But yeah, it was a great time. So worth it. Yeah. So worth it. So now, how does it feel? To, what was the whole process like once you got drafted? It was You got drafted to a New York team. You're New York born and raised. What was all that like for you? I mean, at the time, it was awesome uh, to get my name called by the Mets. A great organization, great pitching organization. was mm -hmm. huge. But uh, at the time, I couldn't really enjoy it the way I wanted to. I had a game the next day. I had to pitch. Um, yeah. So I had to kind of move past it pretty quick. But mm -hmm. after the season was over, I definitely reflected on it and, and figured out how lucky I was to get picked up by the Mets. So now you threw the other day in Batavia. You made your professional debut. How was that? What was that like for you, pitching from a different mound that's not Boston College? Yep. Um, I mean, it was it was weird uh, not wearing maroon and gold anymore mm -hmm. and not throwing to my buddies. Uh, mm -hmm. But it was a good time. First inning, I had a lot of emotion, a lot of uh, adrenaline going, so ball was up a little bit, but the second inning, I felt more like myself, and I was just glad to get it out of the way now. Dude, that's awesome. So now you're here. We have some icebreaker questions for okay. you. Your superpower, which is not your throwing arm. If you had a superpower, what would it be and why? Oh, that's tough. Uh, I'd probably go fly. Yeah? Yeah, because then I could just go anywhere and, like you said, avoid the belt, belt traffic. So <laughs> right? I'd like to be up in the air. Okay, okay. So now also you're in New York. You're near the city. All these celebrities running around. If you could do one lunch date with a celebrity, who would it be? Oh, man. I mean, being a New York guy, Jeter, but <laughs> he's rivaled by Beyonce, so it's, yeah, it's tough. I uh, got to pick between those two. I know. I'd go out with Beyonce. Uh, yeah. I would. Um, and, okay, last one. If you could have one exotic. Do you have a pet? I you don't have, that have right a now? Pet. Okay, no. so if you could have one pet, exotic, exotic, not a dog or cat, what would it be? Baby tiger. Oh, okay. Baby tiger. All right. Yeah. Little jungle. Exactly. All right. So now tell me, you guys had your first off day yesterday. Mm -hmm. What were you up to? How was that? Well, actually, I went home for a little bit. Uh, my little brother called me and said he needed me home. He was, he was getting bored, so I went out there to go see him. But then uh, Atkins and McGeorge wanted to go to the city so I kind of left them alone and okay. took them around the city for the first time. Now where did you go to the city growing up a lot being on Long Island or did you mostly stay out there? Not too much. Um, I was usually playing a lot but uh, I did go in a few times more in high school mm -hmm. um, but I also went away to prep school so I, I didn't get a chance to go as much as a lot of my other friends did but I want a good amount. And would you say that Brooklyn is a really good start for right yeah. now? Are you liking it? It's a lot. Everybody yeah. the one thing I heard from all the players was the subway. Yeah, a lot, of them, <laughs> a lot of them are starting to get used to the subway. It's a pretty straight train ride. It's, it's easy. Right? It's nothing too crazy. So it's definitely a good start of getting adjusted to the city and, and getting used to the speed of New York, that's for sure. You have another talent besides pitching, yeah. juggling. Yeah. What? Where did that start? Well, it started in elementary school. We always used to do like circus section of gym, which was mm -hmm. weird to me, but we learned how to juggle there, and I could never do it. And I'd go home so frustrated. My mom would be like, what's, what's the problem? It's like, everybody can juggle, but I can't. So when baseball started to get heated up and bullpen games started to become fun, I just started sitting there messing around, and I finally picked up the skill to do it. All right, so here's your chance to shine. Okay. You want to show me? Yeah, I think I can show you. Actually, can you teach me? Yeah. I'm kind of interested. Now I'm right. intrigued. The way I was taught was crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Yeah. So okay. So you just go crisscross kind of applesauce. Okay, it doesn't look too hard. So I start by throwing this one up first. Okay. Kind of you want to throw it a little higher. All right. So you have time. To catch the other. Yep. And so it's this one and then this one. And then the bottom one. And then the bottom one. So I promise I promise. <laughs> Not bad Great. for the first time. Great. 
Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Awesome. Applesauce. New York, born and raised, and pitching for Brooklyn. Justin, good luck. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. It. Back to you, Johnny. Thank you, Regina, and thank you, Justin. Remember, Cyclones fans, remember to tune in each week for your newest episodes of Cyclones Insider. I'm Johnny Canetta. We'll see you next week.